Hello friends, this video on heat part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we learned about clinical thermometer which is used only to measure the temperature of human body. But do you think that we only need to measure the temperature of human body that is the only place where we need a device to measure temperature? Not really. There are a lot of other things where we also want to know the temperature. For example, we want to know the temperature of the environment during daytime, during night. We want to know the temperature of boiling water. We want to know the temperature of a cup of coffee which is quite hot the temperature of ice cream. So how do we measure the temperature of all these other objects? Now in clinical thermometer we saw that the clinical thermometer only has a specific range of measurement. It can only measure temperature which falls below 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. So now if I try to use the same clinical thermometer to measure the boiling point of water, the thermometer would break because boiling point of water is far more when compared to the scale which is available on the, with this clinical thermometer. So that is why came up the laboratory thermometer which has a, a more broader scale. So here the temperature ranges from minus 10 degrees Celsius to 110 degrees Celsius. So you see a huge range of temperatures can be measured during using this thermometer. So it is used to measure temperatures of a variety of objects. So now you might say that okay then this can also measure the temperature of human body because the human body's temperature range also falls within this, this range. So we will see that limitations a little later that how laboratory thermometer is different from clinical thermometer and why it cannot be used to measure human body temperature. So this thermometer can be used to measure temperature of other objects like maybe temperature of water, temperature of any other liquid, temperature of um, anything actually. You can measure using this laboratory thermometer. Now how do we read a laboratory thermometer? Now the basic concept of reading any thermometer remains the same. You just need to find out how much does one small line represent in terms of degrees and that's how you can just read the thermometer. But the way temperature is measured using a laboratory thermometer is little different from that we do with clinical thermometer. So let's see how laboratory thermometer is different. So here the reading needs to be noted while the thermometer bulb is in contact with the object. So one important difference between laboratory and clinical thermometer in terms of construction is that uh, the laboratory thermometer does not have a kink. So in this case, you do not have a kink. Therefore, the mercury level falls back immediately as soon as you take the thermometer out of that object. So object here refers to the object whose temperature we want to measure. So let us look at this picture which is given on the screen. Let's say this uh, vessel contains water. And let's say this is and we want to measure the temperature of this water. So what do we do? We have put the thermometer here or let's say here you have ice and we have put the thermometer here so this is the thermometer now as long as the thermometer remains inside the ice in that case what happens the bulb of the thermometer remains in contact with the ice or here in this case the ice is being melted to form water here so the bulb of the thermometer if it is in contact with water it will be able to measure the temperature of the water because if the bulb is in contact with water the water will heat up the bulb so the mercury will expand the mercury level will rise and then we will read the read and we will read the level till which the mercury level has gone and that is the reading of the thermometer but in this case if you take like how in case of human body we place the thermometer under our tongue then we take it out and then we read it why is that possible because the mercury level doesn't fall back but in this case if you try to do the same thing like you first you insert the thermometer inside water and then you take it out as soon as you take it out the mercury level will fall back so you will not be able to read the temperature. So that is one very important thing which you should remember when you are using laboratory thermometer. So whenever you use laboratory thermometer you have to insert the thermometer and then immediately you have to uh, read the thermometer to get the accurate temperature. So this temperature must be read while the thermometer is inside the water or ice or whichever objects temperature you want to measure. 
so that is first thing that has to be remembered secondly the thermometer has to be hold upright this is also different from that of clinical thermometer in clinical thermometer you just put it whether it is little slant or it is um, a little sideways doesn't matter just that the bulb should be under your tongue and the bulb should be in contact with the surface of your mouth so that's the only criteria but in this case you should not tilt the thermometer because when you tilt the thermometer again as you change the position of the thermometer the kind of heat that is being available to the bulb also changes and therefore the measurement of the thermometer also changes so it is very important that in case of laboratory thermometer it is cooled exactly upright so and that's why you will see that in most of the laboratories the thermometer is also provided with a clamp stand so as you can see here you have a stand here so nobody is going to disturb the orientation of the thermometer just fix the thermometer put it inside uh, the solution or the object whose temperature you want to see and then immediately you note the temperature so that's the best way to use uh, laboratory thermometer now these two things are important in laboratory thermometer they are also how laboratory thermometer is different from clinical thermometer and this also tells you why it cannot be used to measure human body temperature because in human beings i mean is it possible that you place the thermometer under your tongue and simultaneously you read the temperature that is not possible right you have to take the thermometer out and then read the temperature now as soon as you do that with the laboratory thermometer your mercury level is going to fall back so you are not going to get any temperature so laboratory thermometer is not going to work as a clinical thermometer even though it has the temperature range of human beings but it cannot measure the temperature of human body another important thing to be noted is that the bulb should never touch the surface of the container for example this is the container here because if the bulb touches the surface of the container again the proper heating of the bulb gets disturbed so we want the bulb to be surrounded from all sides with the substance whose temperature needs to be measured for example here if we are measuring temperature of water we want this bulb to be surrounded with water from all sides so the bulb should never touch the surface of the container which is containing the liquid whose temperature needs to be measured so now let us look at some of the precautions which have to be taken while we are dealing with a laboratory thermometer so first thing is again the same we have to handle it with care to prevent breaking because even inside the laboratory thermometer there is mercury because construction wise it is almost the same as the clinical thermometer so it, it is made up of glass and inside the glass tube you have mercury so if it breaks then disposing the mercury will become a tedious job wash before and after use again it is also a similar precaution which has to be followed for all thermometers hold thermometer such that the bulb is surrounded by the object on all sides and this object refers to the object whose temperature needs to be measured so that is why if you want to measure temperature of a cup of coffee so insert the thermometer such that the bulb is completely dipped inside the coffee but at the same time the bulb should not touch the surface of the cup which contains the coffee do not tilt the thermometer while measurement because when you tilt the thermometer the reading also changes because as you saw that here the mercury level uh, falls back very easily <clears throat> now the same question why can't we use laboratory thermometer to measure body temperature now as i mentioned if you just look at the scale of measurement which is provided in both clinical and laboratory thermometer so what do you see in clinical thermometer we can measure temperature any temperature falling between 35 degree celsius to 40 degree celsius now if you look at a laboratory thermometer you can measure any temperature between minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius so basically this temperature range also falls within the laboratory thermometer's temperature range but the problem is that with laboratory thermometer as soon as you take it out from the substance the mercury level immediately falls down so when you 
put the thermometer inside the mouth of a patient and as soon as you will take it out of the mouth so the mercury level is going to fall back so you will not be able to read the temperature so this is the reason why laboratory thermometer cannot be used to measure body temperature thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.